Hey, Pee Wee, look at what I found at the bottom of the pool. A lucky penny! <laughs> that gives me an idea! <laughs> Hello, my name is Penny, and I have a mother, a father, and a brother, and a very, very big rat. She's sort of fat. She's kind of skinny, but her husband, Louie, he was very fat. That's why he died. He was very fat. I like to go swimming a lot. I like to swim very deep, but usually I can't do that. My mom normally doesn't let me. I like to go roller skating. I was calling for my dad to help, but he said, no, not now. Once upon a time, there were two fire, a big one and a little one. And then the fire alarm rang, and then they had to run into the, the big fireman had a big truck, and the little fireman had a little truck. Then the big fireman gave you a big house, and the little fireman gave you a little house. There were little fat ladies in the little house, and big fat ladies in the big house. Then they all jumped down and they got in the net and they put out the water and they got all they all got a new home. That's the end. Once I saw a show, it had an alien in it. It was a green alien. And like he was this big. And he came out of the um, USA and he made friends. So then he was a nice creature. But he was big. But he was then um, he turns good. He gave them flowers. And he hugged them and kissed them. He says, I love you. And you're the best girl in the whole white world. And she had a whole box of donuts. There's only one more left in the box because I ate them all. <laughs> Hello, my name is Penny. Well, my favorite meal was on my birthday and I had a gigantic lobster. I just um, dug, dug right into it and ate and ate and ate. My friend Anik, she said that she had nine cockatoos, three blue jays, and two guinea pigs, three three gerbils, and um, a, a pig, and a horse, and um, something else, but I forget. I thought that she was a big, fat, total liar. Well, when I go to my cousin's house, where I always go, um, I go there almost every week. Well, um, I usually um, torture his... No, he tortures his cat. I try to chase him. I try to pet him, but he. Did, but my cousin just takes him away with him. He almost threw him into the fire when we were camping. He's, a, he's really mean to his cat. He's always a pain. But today, I was fighting and fighting and fighting with him about his lollipop, because he got a lollipop. And he said that he, the next poly lollipop he got me, he got, he would give it to me. And this time, he did not give it to me, but then he gave it to me. And I said, oh, I'll give you all the kisses you want. Hi, my name is Penny. Favorite toy is my um, rubber ducky. When I squeeze it, it makes different tunes. I'm a 
Strongest, uh, Matt. Strongest, uh, let's see. Matthew Rodin, Rodinsky. Um, and what's that other guy's name? Uh, Matthew Shrenesy, I think. <laughs> My grandmother always screamed when they got out of the cage because she thought that they were rats. I hated them too. I didn't hate them then, but now I hate them because I'm a guinea pig. I love my guinea pig. I guess my grandmother just doesn't like my brother's friends. Waterbed, a round water bed in the middle of the room. My dad says that the only way we can get that is to move into a brownstone house. My dad might give me the TV room room, which would not give me a water bed. But I want my own bedroom and I want a water bed. And I like sea life also. Hello, my name's Penny. I think children should have rights about where they want to move and how they want to live. Like they want to go to sleep at one o'clock in the morning and like go to school, not go to school. And like those kinds of decisions, yes, parents can make those. No. Parents might even be like different from the child in a totally different way. Like a child might be like their um, 43rd ancestor, you know? Like, so like the parent would never be at all like the kid. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying that the parents shouldn't say, "Well, we're going to take you over here because we're the parents and we pay the rent." We're paying the rent. We're paying we're the paying rent. But they don't give money to the kids so that the kids can't pay the rent, so that they can move to their own places. I mean, parents shouldn't rule the life of kids. It's like they treat children like like children, you know. Hello, my name is Penny. Well, see, there's these bunch of boys, and they get their attention by, like, giggling and laughing. I think boys are less mature than girls. I think they, they grow their maturity slower than girls. I know this boy named Alan. He's really, like, weird. He's ten now, and he's really... Oh, weird, and I don't want to be in his class again, <laughs> you know, because he's, like... He's like, he, he can drive you crazy, you know? He cries if he loses in his kickball team. He cries. And he says, um... Wow, he's 270 something. And I say, Alan, nobody's IQ is 200 and something. And he, like, he tries to kill himself. One day he tried to kill himself because he got kicked out of the game. And he's like, this boy is crazy. And he has a crush on me. And he has a crush on me, I think. <laughs> The city's full of excitement, and I like that. And I went up on the clouds with a little white dress on, like an angel. But I wasn't an angel. Well, we said that there's no aliens, but you know, it's like that's their opinion. They're too scientific. They they don't imagine things. If 
you wanted to be Nellie, you could meet a Nellie on the moon. It's like, you know, it just depends on how you see things. It's like they could pick a rock, but a rock on the moon could be an alien. You know, because you never know what form they come in. Science is fun. It should be it should be more exciting because they just know the things that they see or they they think, but they don't think of all the imaginary things that they could, that could be, meaning that there could be aliens, but they're not even noticing. Hello, my name's Penny. Did you ever, ever hear the song, I Don't Want to Grow Up? <laughs> well, like, it's like, you can grow up to be like 102, but you still, like, you didn't, you didn't grow up. It's like you're, you're wrinkled, and, you're, and you can't walk, and you're in bed, and you're sick, and you're ill, and you're in the hospital on time to time. But you're still young, if you want to be. It's like, like my friend Olga, she's still young, and she's 50 years old. You know, like, like when she's a child, she sucks ice cream pops, and she runs around and does antiques, and, and has the house, and runs around in the woods, and has surprise parties, and, you know, so... So if you don't want to be old, you're not. Hi, my name is Penny. This is a list of manners. Don't put your elbows on the table. One. Second, clean up your room. Third, be a good host when people come to the house. Fourth, set the table right. Fifth, learn how to set the table right. Six. Hmm. Brush your teeth in the morning. Seventh. Take a bath every day. Eighth. Um. Polish your glasses. Ninth. Don't wear too much necklaces. All of that. Wash your face. And tenth. Hmm. Oh, curl your hair. <laughs> uh.